is a red giant? Basically, it's when the sun spreads out in order to keep burning hydrogen. And someday, it's gonna happen to you, me, and everyone you know or ever have known. And we're all gonna die from it. Most likely. <laughs> Right now, our sun works by fusing two hydrogen atoms into a single helium atom, and that produces lots and lots of energy. But as it does it for longer and longer, there's going to be less hydrogen closer to the core, and it's going to have to spread out in order to reach the hydrogen at the edges of the sun. To imagine this, we're going to go ahead and take a bowl, fill it with water and soap bubbles, and we're going to put a piece of dry ice in it. And over time, it's going to expand and expand and expand and expand. But as the sun starts running out of hydrogen atoms, it'll get wider and wider and wider and wider wider, like we see in this video. And eventually, it's going to become so wide, it's what we call a red giant. It's going to become less orange and more red because it's going to be burning less hot. Now, as it expands, for sure, the planets Mercury and Venus will actually become engulfed by the sun, and it will get dangerously close to the Earth. But because it's cooler, it might actually be survivable. The dangerous thing is, as this happens, our orbit will actually become closer. So we might actually start to slowly collapse. But also because the gravity is less, we might start drifting a little bit further outward and just avoid the outside of the sun. And really, we don't know what's going to happen. But let's say we got lucky and we drifted away a bit. The danger there is because the sun's cooler, if we went too far away, all of our water would freeze up and we would have nothing to drink. So the key is we can't get so close that we will drop into the sun's orbit. We cannot get so far away that all of our water will freeze, but not so close that all the water will evaporate even if we aren't technically touching the sun. It's a very dangerous balance and that's why we technically don't know what will happen. Please like and share this video and check us out on Kickstarter because the greatest compliment you can give us other than getting a pair of our awesome Tesseract dice is by sharing and liking this video with a friend or a family member. Check in tomorrow when we take a break from the science and I ride a stationary bike for 24 hours, symbolizing a lifetime of rules so that we can guarantee that these are the highest quality in both paint and structure. See you then. For how long? 24 hours! Is that, you, 24 stinking hours! Is, I'm gonna die! Like, See you then. <laughs>